A wave of disappointment washed through me as I read the email. So strong I actually felt queasy. The Navy had just informed me that my upcoming orders had changed and I would not be going to a ship stationed in Japan. Instead, I was going to be the damage control assistant on a destroyer in Norfolk, Virginia. All I had heard about Norfolk at that point was its reputation for terrible traffic, and I still missed living in Japan after being stationed there for two years. I had no way of knowing then that being a damage control assistant would set me on a path toward instructional design. While a damage control assistant has many responsibilities, one of the most critical is managing the training program for damage control on the ship. When there's a fire in a building, everybody inside will evacuate and wait for the fire department to arrive. But when there's a fire on board a ship, they may be hundreds of miles from assistance. The crew must be able to handle fire, flooding, structural damage, and toxic gas in confined spaces all on their own. The damage control assistant is responsible for ensuring the crew is trained to handle these types of damage through classroom training, drills, and managing the formal qualification process. While these aren't the only responsibilities of the job, they were by far my favorite. As my time in the Navy drew to a close and I considered what lay ahead, I knew I wanted to pursue a career in training. While I initially pictured myself in the corporate world presenting onboarding training to a class of new hires, I also saw job postings seeking experience with e-learning authoring tools. I had never heard of these software packages, but I was instantly intrigued and began looking for a degree program where I could learn more. The instructional design program at University of Massachusetts Boston opened my eyes to what is involved in creating quality courses. To be honest, when I applied, I didn't really know what instructional design was. I imagined classwork on how to teach, similar to the degree public school teachers earn, but with a greater focus on adults rather than child education. Instead, I found myself fascinated by classes on how to design educational materials, from a simple infographic to a semester-long course. Once I realized what instructional design really is, I knew that this path was even better than I had imagined. In this program, I have learned about how to identify what training is needed in a situation, and how to create a course that meets those needs. I have learned how to determine when training is the best response and when other, usually cheaper, methods will be more effective at getting the desired results. I have gotten the chance to explore both Articulate Storyline and Adobe Captivate, two of the leading software packages to develop e-learning. I have begun to learn video editing and explored a wide variety of technologies that can be used to develop learning experiences. I look forward to completing my degree in April of 2021 and diving into this new career.